Hi, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this little scrapbook album or mini flip book, whatever you want to call it really. All the papers I used were from a Karen Foster kit that I've had for years. Um, to be honest, I've had it that long, I can't remember how long I've had it. I know it's well over five years, could be nearly double. And I just thought I'd do something different. I, I've had a rearrange in my craft room recently and I've been having a tidy out and I came across this paper pack and it had stickers with it. So I just thought I'd do a mini album with it. Now, stay to the end of the video and I'm going to be giving this away. So in the video, I'll ask you a question and then put the answer in the comments box underneath this video and I'll draw a name at random probably at the end of November 2018. So I'll run through quickly what I used. So first of all for the outside cover I'll take the belly band off it. So this back cover that holds all the pages this is a piece of board. Now you can use chipboard, you could use several layers of pieces of strong card glued together, whatever you want really. I just happen to have had some packaging from an Ikea unit that I've bought recently. So I used some of the inside packaging. So this piece of board that's under this stripe paper measures six by eight and a half and you need one of those. Then the outer cover which is the black and white paper. I made that piece of paper one inch on all sides bigger. So you need a piece of paper eight by ten and a half. For the inside cover, I cut a piece of paper at six by eight and a half. But I think I may trim this down just to give me a bit of wiggle room when I come to stick it together. For the black pages, you need six pieces at six by five and a half. For the matting layers, for the paper matting layers, you need six pieces at five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then these thin strips here are optional and they are three eighths of an inch by five and a quarter. And again, you'll need six and then anything you want to decorate it. I've just used some of the stickers from the kit and I matted this one onto a piece of white card and then I scanned it through the scan and cut and got that to cut the circle out. This one here, I just put onto a piece of red card and I trimmed round it with scissors. This one is a sticker from the kit that I've just stuck on. So is this. The football is a design within the scan and cut canvas so I just sized that to about I think two inches or just under I can't remember and um, again this is a sticker that I put onto a piece of card and I just trimmed around it by hand for the belly band I'll show you in the video how to cut your black card to get the most out of your A4 paper and the bits that you cut off is what you'll use to make the belly band it needs two pieces and again, this is a design from within the scan and cut machine, just cut in two different colours of card and stuck together. And then I've just added some black, uh, some brown stitched lines on for a bit of extra detail. And that's what holds it all together. So that's going to be today's project. I hope you like it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video if you can do so. You can also follow me on Instagram and Patreon. All links are in the description box directly underneath this video. Okay, so the papers that I'm using here are from a Karen Foster kit that I've had for years. I've had it that long. I don't know how long I've had it, to be honest. Briefly, this is what you're going to need. A piece of board that measures eight and a half by six. This can be chipboard, it can be cereal packets stuck together, it can be pieces of card that you just stick together to make thicker. You need a piece of paper to cover the front. I've made this an inch bigger all the way round. This piece for the inside measures 
eight and a half by six, although I may trim this later. You need six pieces of black card that measure six by five and a half, scored at five and a half on the six inch side. Next, you need your matting layers. I've cut mine at five and a quarter by five and a quarter from various papers from the kit. And these are optional. I cut mine at three eighths of an inch by five and a quarter, and these are going to go over where the folds are on the inside of the album. I've also got a couple of pegs I may or may not use, I'm not sure yet. I've got some scraps of card and the colours I've taken from the colours within the sticker sheet that is within this paper pack. And then finally I'm just going to show you A4 card in the UK is eight and a quarter by 11.75. If you're in another part of the world, yours might be eight and a half by 11. So this is how I cut mine. The first thing I did with the A4 paper was on the eight and a quarter side, I cut off at six inches. Then I split the remaining piece of card into two pieces at five and a half, and I had a small amount of scrap left on the end. So the next thing I'm going to do is cover the piece of card that holds this all together. This is my piece of paper that I've cut to be approximately an inch bigger on all four sides. I'm going to wrap this piece of paper around this card and stick it down with some glue. I'm going to start to turn each side of the paper in and crease it with my finger or I may even use a bone folder just to help the paper bend. You can also score on the paper lightly with your bone folder around the four sides. It may just help the paper fold in a little bit better. But you just want to ease the paper in. You don't want to rip it. Just take your time and fold over all the four sides. Once that's done, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut across each corner where the, the folds intersect. So I'm just pressing down each of the folds I've made now, just so that I can see them a little bit clearer on the paper. And where the two lines intersect, I'm going to cut with my scissors on all four corners. I may have to take a bit more of this off later it just helps reduce a bit of the bulk. I'm just going to place the piece of card back inside the paper and I'm now going to stick it down. You can use anything you want here. I would use a strong adhesive, preferably a wet one, but it could be red line tape or double sided tape, anything you like really. I'm running a bit low on all my various adhesives so you'll see that I use several different kinds in the process of making this album. So I'm just applying the glue and I'm just going to do one side at a time, fold it over, hold it down for a few seconds until it starts to grab and then work my way around doing the other three sides. So now I'm going to fold in the short sides and I'm just going to trim a little bit off each of the corners again and I'll do this on the other side as well just so that when I fold it over and stick it down I've not got any bits of paper sticking out at the corner. I'm just using my bone folder to help ease it over. And then I'm going to press it down with my fingers, give it a few seconds until it grabs and repeat on the opposite side.
So now I'm going to take the inside piece and I'm going to glue this on top of the inside of the board. Now just to make it a little bit easier, rather than try and stick this down because I've cut it more or less to be exact, I think at this stage I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off two sides and that way it should be about an eighth of an inch shorter on all four sides. So now I'm just going to apply some more wet glue on this piece of paper. I'm trying to get into the corners without spilling all the glue out because obviously the wet glue gets everywhere and if you get it on your fingers it starts sticking to everything. So I'm just applying a thin layer of the wet glue onto this piece of paper and then I'm going to put this piece of paper onto the inside of this board. I'm just smoothing this down all around the edges to make sure that it's all stuck. This is how it's looking now and I'm going to put that on one side and let it dry and I'm just going to clear up this mess because my paper's got glue all over it. So next I'm going to work on the pages. You've got six pages and I'm going to mat each side of the black pages with the patterned paper. Obviously if you've got a directional paper make sure that your pattern or in my case words are the right way up when you flip the page. So now I'm just going to stick all the pattern papers onto both sides of these pieces of card and for this I'm using a tape runner. Again you can use wet glue, you can use whatever you prefer. This is just my preference just for the video. And because the paper is a quarter of an inch shorter, you've got a little black border all the way round. So now I'm flipping the page and I'm choosing my next piece of paper and I'm going to make sure that the words that are on this piece of red paper are the right way up once this page is flipped. I'm going to repeat that for the rest of the pages and then we'll go on to the next step. So here are all my pages now with the matting layers on both sides. And the next thing I'm going to do is stick them to the inside of this board. So I'm going to apply adhesive along the half inch fold at the top of each one of the black pieces of card. Again, you can use any adhesive that you want, but I find that this red line double sided sticky tape works for things like this. It's very strong. I'm just cutting it to size and then this adhesive works like on pressure. So if you rub it down with your bone folder, it just makes it adhere to the card better and it makes it easier for when you want to come and peel away the protective cover. So I'm just going to apply this to all six pieces of card just on the top edge of the front of the card. Now that's done, I'm going to take my pokey tool and I'm going to peel away the top layer of the red line double sided adhesive which is very static and then I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm going to line up the fold of the adhesive with the top of this piece of card just leaving about maybe a quarter of an inch from the top. I'm not lining it up directly with the top and it's important to get this first piece on straight because you're going to line all your other pages up to this section and 
if this is all level and parallel, the rest of your pages will be. So now the next piece, the fold gets lined up along the bottom edge of the black piece of card and you just carry on and do that all the way until you've got to the bottom and you've got all six pages. I'm just going to turn it to the side, it's just a little bit easier for me to see how to line it up but I'll try and show you what I'm doing. Then I'm just burnishing it down with the bone folder, folding the page over and giving it another fold and then that's the first two pages and I'm going to carry on and I'll be back when I've done all of them. Okay so that's how it's looking now and you can see I've matted both sides of all the six pieces of card. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the pattern paper on the folds and this is the bit that's optional if you want. I've cut some pieces of paper that match and I've made them three, three eighths of an inch by five and a quarter and I'm just going to stick them on to each of the fold sections with this wet adhesive and then I'll come back when that's all done. Okay that's that all finished now you can see that I've put the strips on each of the folds of the pages I'm just going to have a bit of a tidy up and then now it's time to start decorating. Okay so now you're going to make the belly band you need two strips of card, which I showed you earlier, how to cut these from your A4. And you need to apply glue to one end, about half an inch wide, covering the width of the black piece of card. I'm just going to put the lid on this glue because it will dry up otherwise. So I'm not sure if you can see where I've applied the adhesive, but now I'm just going to stick these two sections together trying not to get glue on myself and all over my work surface. Just press it down gently and then let that dry for a few minutes. Just make sure that it all lines up, turn it over and give it a press from the back side and then I'm going to put a piece of pattern paper on this just to make it a little bit more decorative. So I'm just going to set that on one side to dry for a few minutes and using some more of the pattern paper from the kit I'm going to cut two strips of paper that are about a quarter of an inch narrower than the width of my piece of black card. Again yours may be slightly different if you're using A4 card from anywhere other than the UK. I'm going to stick my two pieces of paper centrally on top of this black belly band card and make sure if you're using a directional paper you've got both strips going in the right direction and again just for ease I'm going to use the wet glue and hope that this all sticks. As I said earlier I'm rapidly running out of all my glues I need to do a restock so I'm going to have to go and have a look what I've got on my website and purchase some more adhesives but just apply adhesive all over your paper and then stick it down centrally you can line it up with the top edges just make sure the sides are central or you can leave a gap you know on all of the sides whatever's easiest because this is going to be overlapped I've deliberately made this bigger because I didn't want to cut it to size I'm going to stick it all together and then work out how to, how much I need to wrap around the actual flip album. So that's how we're looking now with the two pieces of paper stuck to the card. I'm just burnishing it from the back and I'm going to trim off the excess piece of scrapbook paper and just discard this because it's all full of glue. Now I have got a little bit of glue on the back side but hopefully it's not going to be seen once it's wrapped around the album. So I'm just burnishing it to make sure that it's all fully stuck and then I'm going to wrap it around the album and see how I want it to fit. So I'm going to position the album 
and just slightly bend the card and ease the belly band over the front of the album and give it a little crease and then just fold it down and burnish it a little bit more into position. Do the same on the opposite end. So again, taking the album, positioning it within the belly band, fold it over. Don't do it too tight because obviously you're going to add embellishments into the album, which is going to make it a little bit thicker than it is at the moment. So give it a little bit of ease, burnish that down, and then where the two pieces of card overlap, I'm going to stick adhesive and glue it all together. I'm just giving it an extra little crease where it meets the edge of the back of the album and just making sure I've got it all in position and then I'm going to take the album out of it and glue it together. So now I can see where the two parts of the belly band overlap and I'm just going to apply glue in this area. So I'm just going to make a little mark with my bone folder in the hope that I can see it and I know not to go past this point with any adhesive. Now because all my wet adhesives are all running low, I'm going to use some strong double sided tape. Again, I know roughly where I need to position it. So I'm just going to stick it down and tear it off and then apply a couple more pieces to this section so that I'll then be able to peel away the paper and stick the belly band all together. I'm going to burnish all this down now to make the paper hopefully release a little bit easier. Just double checking that I've got my strips of adhesive in the right place and I'm just going to take a pokey tool or a piercing tool or anything sharp and lift away the pieces of paper that protect the double-sided adhesive. Give it an extra burnish down if it won't release easily, but um, it, it will come away. You just sometimes have to bear with double-sided paper. Holding it down, making sure that all the sides line up and I've just noticed that my paper's come a bit loose so I'm going to have to get my adhesive out again and just add a bit more adhesive to stick this down. Okay I think that's enough. I'll put the paper back down, stick it down hopefully centrally on my card without sticking myself to the bits of double-sided tape. Just checking that everything's okay and now I can position the belly band over and stick it all down. Give it a good press so that hopefully everything adheres. I'm using my bone folder here just to make sure it's all stuck down and then um, I'm going to now, that's how it's all looking and I'm going to now just try it around the album and then I'm going to be ready to start decorating. So there, that fits nicely. So that's how it's looking so far. Okay, I've got the scan and cut switched on. I'm going into patterns. I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but I'm using the second icon on the top row. And then from within the next section, I'm going to the last icon on the second row. I'm going to choose the football. I'm just going to take the size down to about two, two and a half inches. I'm going to say OK, choose the first part of the design and say OK and set. And then go back and add the second part. I'm going to use two separate pieces of card for this design and I've just got some scraps of matching colours that match within the sticker colours and I'm going to put a piece of brown and a piece of kind of craft coloured card on this mat and cut out the two designs. 
I'm just burnishing these down and I'm going to load them into the machine. I'm going to do a background scan so that I can position the two cuts on the respective pieces of card. I've shown how to do this in lots of videos so there are lots of videos on my channel showing how to use the background scan so I'm just going to let that go through and when it comes back out I'll position both the parts of the football and then I'm going to say OK and cut. I'm going to use black and white for this design. So again, I'm just putting a piece of scrap black card on to this mat and I'm going to put a piece of white and I'm going to repeat. I'm going to load it into the machine, do a background scan, position the two parts of the design and cut it out. So that's done now. I'm going to again remove the two sections. This is how it's going to look once it's all lined up. I'm just going to put adhesive on the back of it again and stick this together. Now, if you like this album and you want a possibility of a chance to win it, leave me a comment under this video telling me what you would use it for. And probably around about the end of November, I'll pick a random winner. So that's how that one's looking now. So I've got the album, I've got two cuts done from the machine, I've got the belly band and now I'm going to start looking how I'm going to decorate it. I don't know whether to use this ball on one of the pages and then I could add a photograph or whether I want to use it on the belly band. I'll have a look and see what I'm going to do with it all. I think I might put it on the front actually on the belly band. I'm going to add some faux stitch lines to this football just using a brown felt pen. If you've watched any of my previous videos you'll have seen me using these pens. I think there are a set of pens I picked up in Tesco's or Morrison's some time ago. So I'm just going to go round the edge of this football and then I'm going to be ready to stick it onto the front of the belly band. So I'm just applying some 3D foam pads to the back of this and I'm using some biggish ones because it's a big, biggish die cut and then I'm going to place that centrally over the fold on the belly band. So that's how that's looking now. Next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use some of the random shapes I've taken from the kit that I've matted onto pieces of card and I'm just going to work out where to stick them on various pages within the book. So one of the designs, I decided that I wanted to stick it onto a piece of white card and then I want the machine to cut the circle out for me. So I'm just going to load the mat with the sticker that's stuck to this piece of white card. I'm going to use the scan to cap direct cut. I'm going to just use a basic scan to hopefully the machine will pick up the circle and then once that's scanned and it comes back through the machine I'm going to wait for the machine to recognize it I'm going to preview it and then I'm going to add a 0 0.04 border and get the machine to cut it out for me. Okay, so that's all done now. Just gonna push the machine out of the way. And there is my sticker stuck to a piece of white card with a small border, all cut with the scan and cut. So again, now I'm bringing the album in. I think I might stick this on the front somewhere. Again, I'm going to use some double-sided foam adhesive and then the album, I think, is nearly finished.
Okay, so I'm just going to put the belly band back around the album, but I'm just taking my time because obviously it's all still a little bit wet and I don't want to rip anything or dislodge anything. But again, don't forget to leave me a comment directly under this video on YouTube in the description box telling me why you would like to win this and what you would use it for. So that's how it's looking now, front and back. I've edited quite a bit out of this video to save some time, but there are things I've done in this video that you've seen me do in many other of my videos that are on my channels. So I hope that's okay. And I hope you like the project and I'll see you next time. Thank you.